Hi everybody, welcome. Today we're going to talk about HP Latex White Ink Print Modes. Now I know HP is very proud of how opaque their Latex White Ink is, but I'm hoping this video is going to make everything a lot more clear. So let's get started. The first mode we're going to talk about today is Under Flood. Under Flood is going to print white and then print color on top of it. Uh, the application here would be printing on a non-white substrate. So it's really important to note here that flood doesn't necessarily mean edge-to-edge -edge white printing. It just means that white is going to print under the color. So here's an example of white under flood printed on black PVC. On materials like brushed metal, the white can also be used as an accent or to hide the, the metal underneath. So in this example, we're using white to hide the metal texture and provide better contrast in parts of the image. And here's what it looks like when it's printed. The next mode is Overflood. Overflood is going to print color and then white on top. And remember, just because it says flood doesn't necessarily mean it's edge to edge. So the application here typically is going to be second surface signage on clear material. So here's an example printed on some clear acrylic and the printing is actually on the back side, the non-viewing side of this. The next mode is Spot. Spot White is going to print color and white at the same time, which means they can't overlap. If the white and color overlap, they're going to mix together and you'll get very unexpected, probably unnecessary results. Uh, but it can be used with color on non-white substrates, like on this piece of wood. So you see we have white and color that are going to be printed side by side. And here's what that print actually looks like. We can also use spot mode for printing white ink only. So as an example uh, that I'm going to show you here, printing on black PVC. The reason we would do that is because by, by using spot mode rather than under flood or over flood, we're actually using both print heads at the same time rather than just one. So we get a, a tremendous speed boost on this. So now let's talk about the sandwich modes. The sandwich modes, and there are two of them, uh, but sandwich modes are going to be two layers of color with some form of white in between them. So the first mode that we'll talk about is the three layer sandwich mode. Three layer is going to be used for day night backlit signage. Uh, so that's where during the day, we're going to not have any external or internal illumination. It's just going to be daylight. And then at night, it's going to be illuminated from the back. So that sandwich mode is color, then white, then color. And here we have an example that's going to be printed on clear acrylic. Note that the top layer, which in this case is the hidden layer, the non-viewing layer, is a weaker color. That's intentional, and it's uh, to make sure that the backlit image isn't oversaturated. So here's a photo of the non-viewing side with that muted color. Here's what the front looks like. And then here's the finished product in a light box, and we are frontlit and now backlit. So the last white mode that we have is the five layer sandwich mode. Uh, apologies ahead of time. I don't have an, an actual physical example to share with you, uh, but five layer is going to be used for extra opacity for a double sided sign. So in this case, it's going to be color, white, black, white, and then color again. So typically this is going to be two different images front and back. And we don't have control over the black. The black is automatically generated by the printer. Uh, wherever there is a drop of ink, there will be a drop of black there as well. Uh, it just provides that extra opacity. So in this case here, maybe it's a, a, a hanging display like in a, in a retail environment, right? I, I'm printing on a piece of acrylic and then hanging it to view both sides. I don't want to see one side through the other. So I hope this video has made HP white print modes uh, on latex printers a little easier to understand. And as always, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.